to my channel my name is Ege and this is Fictional Haven and so guys today we're going to be playing a book challenge which is the black book challenge and I'm going to oh, this video was created by this challenge was created by books and bow tie I'll leave a link to the channel below Sha. so let's just begin so we have 19 questions and basically it's, this challenge is to find books by black authors that will fit the prompts of for this challenge and I'm supposed to complete this, this in the fastest time possible and I'm going to give myself 10 minutes to complete all this one to see how many of these prompts I can complete. So let's just begin. So the clock is ticking already, so we're just going to be reading the prompts as fast as possible and trying to complete as many of them as I possibly can before my 10 minutes is up. So the first is a book that has won awards or accolades and I'm going to go for Benedine Evaristo. She just looks like somebody that has won something he shortlisted no awards that's not a black author that's not a black author wow this is how that he quick should have won something now okay they're not right anything this was a bad idea i feel like yes no okay yes Binti has won an award. It won the Hugo Awards or something like that. Yes, winner of the Nebula and Hugo Awards. So, Binti for the first prompt. This is difficult. This, this is a book with disabled or neurodiverse protagonists. I don't think I have any book like that. The third question is an author with first name beginning with M, R, O, or Z. Author with M, R, O, or Z. M, Name, first name, first name, with a first name. First name, is that not surnames? Your first name is your surname, Naba. If, going by my logic, first name is surname, then Makumbi, Jennifer Nasubuga Makumbi. Your first name is your surname, right? I'm going, I'm assuming. Oh, oh, oh. Maza, I can't pronounce it, but yeah. A book not set in the UK or US. Bro. Let me pick a book not set in the UK or US. This is the house, the son of the house. I believe this is set in Nigeria. So yes, the son of the house. Okay. I have so many to even pick self. So the next question is a deceased author. Uh, I want to say the beautiful ones. I want to say the beautiful ones are not yet done, but uh, I don't know because it's a classic. It's a really, really, really old book. So I want to say the beautiful ones are not yet born, but I'm not so sure if this author is dead or not. Is Tino Achibe dead? I'm not sure. Either Tino Achibe or Akui, I can't pronounce the name, one of them. I don't know if they are dead. I'm just a book that can be classified into multiple genres multiple genres multiple genres i'm not going to i'm not going to bother with that one a book a debut novel i believe this is a debut his only wife by peace azomede then a sequel i will just go for the next book Home by a uh, Binti Home by uh, Nandi Okoro for this is equal to Binti, so yay. Then Afrofuturism or speculative fiction. I've already used um I've already used this thing, so I'm not going to use that again. I'll use Sui Davis Okumbawa. Sui Davis Okumbawa's Mogo David God Hunters. Yes, I believe this counts. God Hunters. Okay, then a book that has received an adaptation. Wow. I don't know if this counts, but Akweke's book is supposed to become... Yeah, I know they are trying to um, adapt this into a movie. I don't know if it's out yet. I don't think it's out yet. But I know this is supposed to become adapted. 
that's English, and also, um, I don't have half of a yellow song. Why don't I have half of a yellow song? I know Secret Lives of Baba Sengi is also supposed to be adapted, but I don't know if they count because it hasn't come out yet. I just know that they're working on it, so does it count? I'm not sure. I don't think I have any book by a black author that's already. Yeah, I don't have. So I don't know if they count. But Freshwater and Baba Sengi's wife, they are supposed to be both. I don't think they are out yet, but I know they already bought film rights for these books. A short story collection. Ah, let me use this. Love is Beautiful When in Bloom by Lara Karim. Yes, this is a short story collection. Then, a book that is sold in verse or a work of poetry. Uh, <laughs> I don't do poetry. And I don't have any book in verse, so I don't have any book in verse, and I don't have poetry, so trans binary or non binary character. Okay, so we have pets by Akweke Mezi. I believe the main character in this book is non binary. I believe, if not, I, 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 I believe this. I believe pet counts now. Pet counts. Does the pet count? So, next is literature contemporary or non fiction centering on a fat individual. Yeah, I don't think I have. Yeah. I don't think I have anything for that prompt. So, we have three minutes left. Let's be fast. A book about Black Lives Matter, smart. A book about Black Lives Matter or Black Liberation. Wow, Black Liberation. Uh, I feel like there's a book here that probably has that theme. I don't just know it. So I'm going to skip because I don't know it. A silly, conky, shy or nerdy protagonist. Ah, well, skipping now for now. now a work of non-fiction. A work of non-fiction this is non-fiction the sex the, the sex lives of african women yes this is non-fiction so i believe this counts does this not count i believe i believe this counts an author with a new book releasing soon i've used that quick a lot so let me see if i can find another author before i bring out a quick again because Uh, an author with a book release, new book release soon. Uh, Tracy Dion, her next book is coming out next year. Blood marked, it's coming out. I don't know when next year, but so it's coming out next year. And because I like to overdo the Gilded Ones by Namina Fona, also coming out. The next book in the series, also coming out next year. So. Yes, then let me see the ones I left. I left, I think, half time. So a a silly, conky, shy or nerdy protagonist. A shy or nerdy, nerdy or shy protagonist. Protagonist. Ebinimi, um, the mechanics of Yenegua. Ebinimi, he's a very silly person. This, if I had Ebinimi as a mechanic, I would change my mechanic. He's a very silly person, very odd individual. Ebinimi, is, is, he's a case study. Ebinimi is a headache. I don't know how else to describe it, but I feel like a binimi counts. I skipped a question. A book featuring a queer centered romance. Um, a queer centered. There's the death of Vivek Oji. Where is v The death of Vivek Oji. A book featuring a queer centered romance. And it's time, so yeah. Okay, so that is the end of this challenge. I got 12 questions right, 2 maybe, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm not right, and 5 that I did not try attempt at all because I don't have the books for them. So yeah, I feel like this was okay. Out of, I got like 12 out of 19. That's a fair. Is that fair? Is that fair? That, I believe that is a, f that's at least a B. Yeah, I think I got at least a B. Very fun to film and... Thank you for watching with me so far and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you want to do.